Hey, Cable Hawks. Why am I under my RV? Well, I'm going to show you. Look what I got. Ba bam! Lippert Center Point Air Ride Suspension. Look at that beauty. We're going to make things a little bit smoother on the highways across this country. So I'm going to show you how effective it is. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're in the Tampa Hey Camp Hawks, we're at Plant 82 in Goshen, Indiana. We are here getting Lippard Center Point Air Ride installed. Things are going to be a lot smoother. I'm going to show you how they do it. Destination 5J's campground, or no, Double J, Double J campground in Springfield, Illinois. And uh, I tell you what, the Center Point Trail Air Center Point, amazing ride, amazing ride. It was very smooth. Everything looks good. Everything's intact. It was a successful run. I want to show you this. As I open up the uh, ramp door to observe the smart car, I purposely left this up. Uh, it, it typically it bounces shut. These chairs have not moved. There's a 30 pound dumbbell there. They did not shift at all. Nothing has fallen off of that. Uh, nothing is, everything, everything's still intact, still in place. Amazing. I can tell in the past and that sometimes my bourbon cabinet will move. It has not shifted. Everything looks fine back here. So far, so good with the center point. Our next destination is from here in Illinois, Springfield, Illinois, to Hershey, Pennsylvania. That's going to be a long ride. Uh, I'll get you back. I'll get back to you with the miles on that. Uh, but today we did about 300 miles. Smooth ride. I could tell in the rear view mirror. That the trailer was not jacking up and down it was a nice smooth ride oh, smooth so we'll give you some more testimonial here I'll, I'll give you some more uh video about it i'm going to strap a gopro on the axle so you can see the, um, the airbags in action but so far so good That mirror. You got the mirror, baby. All right, guys, so how you work this is I have using my bi air air pump, turn it on, and I'm going to show you where I connect 
So what we're going to do is we're going to plug into our valve stems, go ahead and pump these babies up. And I'm going to show you that this has been sitting here for, oh, we've been here since December 2nd. And they are still holding some air. So they're pretty tight seals. So what I did, uh, I mounted these, of course, in the uh, gas or the fuel filling station, uh, the generator gasoline tank storage area uh, for the unit. And this is the driver's side and the passenger side. Now, there's the instructions right there. I have found my sweet spot is about 37, 38 pounds of pressure. Uh, 40 and greater is just too much uh, where the axles then bounce and or my, I see, I saw a little bit of uneven tire wear is what I'm getting at. So uh, 37 to 38 pounds is my sweet spot and uh, I'll show you how we fill them up. Doesn't take much. All right, I took my valve stem covers off. Again, these are my TST tire pressure monitors. I have them back on here. These are the pass-through monitors to give me a little bit more room to work in here. So I'm always monitoring the pressure of these also on my display screen, on my TST uh, display screen. So we're gonna put some air in these things. They'll pump it back up. And you see, it does not take long. Like I said, I feel comfortable running about 38 pounds. But since we're sitting stationary for a while, I'm going to go ahead and film the 40. And I decided to put these back here in this compartment, in this fuel compartment, to keep them out of the weather, uh, to keep them safe and secure, so nobody's stealing any uh, caps or any any of the uh, TST uh, tire pressure monitors. Not that it really makes a difference. They can always break in here easily, but just out of sight, out of mind. So we're at 40 pounds of pressure. I could actually hear the springs underneath the unit creak a little bit. All right, there, there you go. They're both at about 38 pounds, 39 pounds in that neighborhood. So they should be good to go for another month and a half. Uh, again, not a whole lot has leaked out of them. Uh, it's been cold, it's been hot here. So they do fluctuate again with the weather also. So that's how you, I fill them up. Uh, triple axle, it's the same triple axle. You want two and a half pounds per thousand pounds of actual rear uh, axle weight. Right there, two and a half triple axle, two and a half pounds per 1,000 pounds of actual rear tri dem weight loaded. So two and a half pounds times 18 is about uh, great, almost 40 pounds. So like I said, that 38 is my sweet spot. So that's how you figure that. And again, the directions right there. 40 to 45 pounds of what I found was just a little bit too much. All right, let's go inside and discuss this a little further in detail. Hey, Campa Hawks, we are your Leopard Ambassadors. We're proud to announce that Leopard has given us the opportunity to show you the Leopard Centerpoint Air Ride System. So we're going to take a look into this a little bit deeper, but first let's cover the features and benefits of the Leopard Air Ride system to include what it's all about on tandem and triple axle trailers. Number one, it makes it a smoother ride. Our, the Centerpoint Air Ride system absorbs road impact and you're, it's just going to be a smoother ride for you. Prior to the Air Ride system, we had the Morad Cree 3000s. Uh, they lasted about two years and uh, I, I think the two, two years, one year was part-time, one year was full-time RVing, and they were shot at the end of the one year. We transferred over to Lippert 8,000-pound uh, axles, disc brakes, and we also installed the Equiflex, uh, our Equiflex uh, ride system comparable to the uh, Morai Cree 3000s. Again, they absorbed a lot of road shock, but as a full-timer, uh, we were about to go through them also after one year of about 12, 13, 14,000 miles on them. So they were looking pretty rough also. We do have a Grand Design Momentum 395M toy hauler. We do haul a smart car in the back of our toy hauler. And uh, our unit weighs about 20,000 pounds, right on the money. It's also important to note that on our pin box, we have a Kurt Air Ride system on our pin box to absorb again road shock and make it a smoother ride now that we have this center point air ride system the entire thing 
is riding on air. Our unit, our pin box, hooked to the back of our, our, our Ford F450. The best way I can describe this is when I'm looking in the rear view mirror, the rig looks like it's floating, all right? Where on bridge and transitions and highways, the rig would be bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I could see it, I could feel it, I could see it in the mirror, the amount of impact this thing was taking. But now with this, we're just floating. So let's dig into this a little bit deeper. I'm gonna show you uh, I strapped the camera to the axle so you can see the impact that the bags take, the actions of the bags. I strapped the camera inside the toy hauler part of it so you can see the small car as it rides in the back of this unit. I strapped a camera on the interior of this right to our sink, shooting back here so you can see all of this. So you can see this entire interior going at it, working. Uh, I left the coffee pot right on the kitchen counter. It doesn't fall off. I'm going to show you why we have definitely noticed a big difference in regards to the amount of things thrown about in this unit prior to having the center point air ride system on and now having it on. The downside to this whole video, I do not have footage prior to having this air ride system on. But trust me when I tell you, uh, we don't endorse products unless we really like them. And this has made a big impact on our travel. So let's get further in depth into it. All right, folks, this is the uh, axle cam I'm setting up for you and hopefully everything works out on this trip. All right, guys, so what you're seeing here is the start. We're just leaving the campground and you'll be able to see the transition these things make uh, in regards to to and fro uh, when leaving the campground, making pause, stops, slow downs, pick up speed. Uh, we're getting ready to get on uh, I-35 near Waco, Texas, and we're going to hit our max speed here. Uh, but you can see some transitions take place, and you can see the action of the center point air ride system. All right, we have pulled out onto the highway from the campground. We were at uh, Dutch. Flying Dutchman RV Resort or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> we're leaving. Uh, we're heading southbound on I-35 from Waco. And uh, you'll see some bumps coming up here on the highway. We're running about 62 mile an hour. That's about my max cruising speed uh, when I'm towing my fifth wheel. I feel comfortable at that point. Not much faster than uh, about 62 miles an hour. The smart car is loaded in the unit. And I have about 25 gallons in the uh, gasoline tank for the generator. The water tanks are drained, so I'm not carrying any water with me. So I'm probably about 15,000 pounds on these axles uh, with the unit and the smart car loaded into it. All right, in this clip coming up, you're going to see a big hit taken. Boom, there it is right there. And another solid hit. The uh, amount of energy these things absorb is amazing. All right, in this clip, we're coming into a rest stop, so you'll be able to see the transition of weight as it goes to and fro from the uh, unit. As, then as we're slowing down and braking, the, the shift of the weight. All right, in this clip, we're about to hit I-81 South. We're somewhere around uh, Kentucky or Tennessee. I can't recall exactly. Uh, I, I just went ahead and mounted the camera inside the garage, and this is the biggest impact it has made on our lives. Everything in there rides nice and smooth now. There is no slamming. Uh, in other words, that glass window would slam shut on me. Uh, it's not even moving. Things are not being thrown about. You can see, kind of see to the right of the car is the washing machine. Uh, everything's still staying on top of the washer. It's not falling off the washer onto the floor. In this clip, we're on the I-20, Interstate 20, rather, Interstate 20 uh, near Elkhart, Indiana. You just heard two uh, bangs from road transitions and noticed that nothing really moved inside uh, the interior of our unit. Coffee, the coffee maker's not moving, the longer burger basket that holds the coffee, 
uh, filters is not moving there's not a whole lot of slamming going on uh, the recliner is free so it's not strapped down it's not jumping around like it used to do <laughs> the doors are not flying open the drawers are not flying open and uh, yeah this is amazing we're running about 55 mile an hour between 50 and 55 mile an hour and we're going to come to a stop here you can see this things shift a little bit you see those wreaths up there on uh, but nothing in too impactful. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Again, we are Lippert Ambassadors. Lippert put this on our system to share with you about how much we like this unit. And um, I, I, just, I just can't say anything bad about it. Uh, if you're looking for an alternative to uh, a suspension upgrade, this may be the one for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe below, ring the bell for notifications. Again, you can shop this product. I'll put the links below to this product and everything you saw in this video to include the Viair air pump RV system. So all the links will be down below. Check them out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.